Hi friends, here we are trying to create a pyramid using stars in Tickle. Okay, first we will try to print some some variable here like uh, print one star here. For printing, we will use the command puts. What is it? Star. Okay, if I want to print one star, I can give that in single code save in a file format here I am giving new one dot tickle so I want to run that file here so for that I am using the command tclsh then that particular file name here new one dot tickle if you click on tab it will give the old file name so if I execute this one I am getting one star here I have given only one star here that's why it's getting printed. If I want to print two stars, I have to give puts uh, then two stars in a single quotes. Here we try to execute this one. Here I have got two stars here. Now see, if you want to print uh, uh, or if you want to create a pyramid, we have to get uh, the stars in such a way that first first row it should be or uh, having only one star second loop sorry second uh, second row we have to get three stars then third we have to get a uh, five star like that first we will see how can we pr print stars in such a way for that we have to use a for loop command you will see here this index for for loop is four then in set bracket the variable I'm giving set i zero. Then, as usual, the uh, criteria yeah, it will be like it will be in boolean. Here I'm giving dollar i less than some variable. If you want to print uh, three rows, we will give three here, or so we will give two. Uh, two that means we only want two rows that means in first row it should be one star second sh uh, second row it should be three stars uh, the next case is increment increment the value i okay now we have to this one now i am giving this here we are different only one okay we'll see what is the output of this one this is not this is not the proper way to print as we discussed we'll see what the output is see here we have cut one star at first row second second row also only one star but we got one star at first first row and two sorry three stars at second row for that we have to give another loop okay we will try see four set j zero then uh, we will give the criteria like J less than or equal to dollar i. Then, as usual, increment j. Okay. Uh, now we have to give. We will try what the output of this one is. Okay. Okay, you have to give one close bracket here. Okay, now we will try. See, we have got first row one star, second row second row, one star, third row also one star. Because this puts command is like the value will be uh, printed, and uh, one enter command will be 
at the last of that character so we have to give up and command up and so we are using up and here up and some variable then the star is appended to that and after this loop we will put that variable puts dollar a now we will check see first row we have got one one star second row we have got three star but here is a problem because uh, actually upon this this loop we have to give we have to get in first loop we have to get one star second loop we have to get only two star here we are we are getting three stars only because in first loop there was one star and the two stars after that is appended to that one star that's why we are getting three stars so we have to give one clear command here for that we are giving the ta blank okay now we will try again here see we are getting one star here then two stars but actually we need one star at first row three stars at second row so we are giving small change in our idea like we are giving star 2 here okay so we will get one star at first row three stars at second row okay now see if you want to make this as a pyramid we have to add spaces also for that we have to add one more loop like four set j dollar i then we have to give that idea like dollar j less than that uh, high variable like two then increment j then we have to give append command append a space okay now we will try see first one then three stars we will try this with the five there here also we have to change to five here we should get five rows okay see first row one second row three third row five fourth row seven fifth row nine like that it will print here we are manually giving the values of rows if you want uh, to change this into uh, automatic like uh, we have to give the values of rows in in the method of from command line can change it like here we can add one more, one more command set tn gets std in so the command line input will be stored in tn and we can replace this variable sorry this value with the the variable dollar n okay. here also we have to change again and now we will save and try thank you we will give for here it is printed for us we give five seven five and now for making more convenient we can give one message so that uh, the user can give the value properly for that we are giving uh, how many rows you need or we will give place
you need it okay then we will try that out see please enter the number of rows you will need it okay some mistake Corrected. Try it five. It's working. Try it some other high bit. I twenty. I spend it twenty rows. Okay. Thank you.